All right, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to a new video on the channel. And uh, today we're gonna be playing some Kerbal Space Program. Uh, last time I played this game on the channel was a uh, live stream, and it was kind of—I ain't gonna lie—it was, it was a pretty bad experience. However, a couple months later, it's been very up or very updated. It's not even a word. It's been updated a lot. There's a lot more versions to it. Um, I feel like the rockets are a little bit more stable, but uh. Uh, other than that, it's it's gotten way better, 100%. As they don't, it's almost a 180, almost, but there's still some tweaks and stuff that needs to be fixed. Obviously, the rockets still bounce around, the rockets still kind of break apart randomly. I just tried to put a uh, a probe to the moon, it broke apart as soon as I put the uh, landing gear out. So, you know, whatever that is. Anyways, uh, today we're gonna be doing a a satellite launch. But the part that launches the satellite is coming back, so it's a reusable satellite launcher. Or rocket, something like that. Something out of fucking SpaceX. So, I think first things first, I'm gonna get the... the actual returning... um, thing back. So we're gonna do this. I think this is a good choice. Maybe. It looks kind of weird, but we're gonna go with it. And then I'm going to put. Um, let's see. The reaction wheel. I think that's too high for a reaction wheel. I'll put a reaction wheel down here. We're gonna put a decoupler. Nope. There we go. Wait, they got stacked decouplers now, or separators. Both ways, ah, hang on, wait a minute. Hold your horses. I've never used this. Let me test it out real quick. <laughs> okay. So that has quite a bit of force, holy shit, why is it at max? I don't need max. Yeah, I don't need max. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn that a little bit down. I'm gonna go maybe 120 if I can type that in. Nope, I can't. All right, we'll go somewhere close to 120. I'm probably not gonna get the exact. All right, that's gonna get fuck it. 117. All right, so we got that satellite's gonna be on top of here. It's gonna be a pr it's gonna be a pretty hefty satellite. It's gonna be pretty massive. I'm gonna do a um a time lapse now. So, I'll be back to you guys when I think I have finished it. See ya. I think I got the uh, reusable um, rocket here. Um, so I was gonna put some landing gear here, um, but I come to the conclusion that this is not gonna land on land. <laughs> uh, but it's instead gonna just dive into the ocean. Well, not really dive, but you know, kind of like flip over into the ocean. So I just went for these uh, grid fins. So as of right now, the grid fins don't use SAS. They're manually controlled, which is fine. I'll just use them for drag to slow me down. Um, other than that, these aren't going to control us, nor do I want to control us. Um, but yeah, we have our a gyro here, massive fuel tank, lights just for decoration, some blinking lights, whatever, mono propellant, some uh, solar panels, a bunch of batteries, a, a, a fucking dish for TV and all that stuff, um, drag fins, RCS, an engine. Um, some parachutes, cause I, either this engine, just in case, 
if this engine runs out um, when we are descending, this thing has to make it back. It has to, like, bring us back into the atmosphere. That's the only thing this thing is required to do. Um, if this thing runs out, then we could just rely on the on the chutes. As of right now, Kerbal Space Program 2 does not have re-entry. So, we don't have to worry about extra fuel to use the engine as a heat shield. Because I'm pretty sure SpaceX does that, right? They, they don't have a heat shield on the back of their rockets. They just have the engine fire. And then they use whatever's coming out of this nozzle as the heat shield, right? Is that is that correct? I'm not totally sure. Um, other than that, yeah. This is basically what this reusable stage is. I think I'm going to design the satellite, and the bottom half is pretty easy in itself. Eventually. Yeah. Okay. So this is going to be our satellite. It's going to be our first satellite. <laughs> And whatever series this is going to be, I don't even know if this is going to be a series or not. This stage right here is just pretty simple. There's nothing really going on with this stage at all. Alright, let's see how this thing does. Let me check the stages. This one, it goes to two, then it goes to three. Decouples parachute. Nope. Uh, we're going to do this. The parachute's last stage. Hopefully the parachutes would be enough to slow it down. Hopefully it's not too heavy for them. I think they're... I think they're pretty massive parachutes, to be honest. Oh, let's roll. Yeah, baby. Alright, we got lift off, everything is looking good. That's not a whole lot of Delta V, but we'll make it work. Yikes, okay. <laughs> I might have to add boosters to the side of this. Alright. This thing is doing a pretty good job so far. Nothing out of the ordinary yet. Hopefully I can get to the um, atmosphere. I think they fixed that though. I don't think that's going to be a problem. Damn. This is going to probably run out by the time you get to the second stage of the atmosphere. Man, that's, that's crazy. Alright, you're going to start leaning to the left. That's not the way you want to go. You want to go right, but I'm going left. Why not? So what I've learned from this game is you want to look at the nav ball. You really don't want to look at this. It's my first mistake when I was first playing this game. Alright, first stage about to go here in a minute. First stage is gone. Oh, oh shit! And if we really needed to, if we're in orbit and this runs out of fuel, we could use RCS to slow down. I think we have enough. Now, a couple months ago, this was really laggy. I remember that. This was like probably like 15 frames a second. I think I'm getting like maybe 75. It's actually a pretty good frame rate here. <clears throat> Half Delta V is gone. We're still cruising. Okay, we're actually dropping out of the... Oh, no we're not. Are we? Right, we're gonna pitch up a little bit. Oh, this is kind of confusing me. Yeah, we are dropping, so we're gonna pitch up. We're actually going to go uh, about halfway. Here we go. There we go. We're at 40,000 now. Alright, here we go. Yeah, buddy. 
Oh, damn. <laughs> Yo, hang on, yeah. So we're going to make an orbit, or a, uh, a pretty good orbit here. And then as soon as we get to the exact orbit, we're going to cut the separator. And we're going to try and land back at Kerbin. Or Kerbal Space Program. If we could do that... Oh, man. Uh, then we're going to detach. That scared the absolute hell out of me. Let's get RCS. Oh, are we docked? There we go, okay. Alright, so the... Um, satellite is now on its own. We don't have any lights on this. But we're gonna point it towards the planet. Alright. We're gonna get rid of this pretty soon, don't worry. Alright, now we have a satellite pointing towards the planet. Let's deploy... <laughs> almost forgot this. We're gonna deploy all the arrays. Can you deploy this? No. That's short-ranged. I thought these two were part of the same thing, but I guess not. 